Hi friends, my name is Colby Sharp. I am a fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Welcome to my channel where the goal is to help kids fall madly in love with reading. And holy smokes, we have a brand new series from Dave Pilkey that is going to help kids do just that. Cat Kid Comic Club by Dave Pilkey, a brand new series. Your kids will know this character from Dog Man. Dave Pilkey has like created this world with all of these like interchangeable parts. I don't know, like we often think of like worlds created over the course of books of like Tolkien and Harry Potter and Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Like Dave Pilkey has created one of the most amazing worlds with all of these interconnecting characters and books and parts. It's just unlike anything that I have experienced as a teacher and I am so thankful for Cat Kid Comic Club. I read this book, I devoured it immediately after receiving it while well, my daughter took it and read it and then let me read it afterwards. It's so good. It's like, like we should not be surprised it's Dave Pilkey, but this book is so good. And, and not only that, but like, he does all these like really important things that are going to like change the way kids and parents and teachers see comics and graphic novels and see the work that kids are wanting to do. I feel like in like the nicest Dave Pilkey way, he almost throws like a little bit of shade to all of his critics, all of the parents who say kids shouldn't write uh, books with potty humor or kids shouldn't write with like the childhood violence that they write about in their books or kids shouldn't write about things that they want to write about or you can only create write a certain way like this book it just like blows it all up and it does it in this amazing way with a cat teaching a bunch of frogs how to write graphic novels uh, I don't know how he does it but friends like it's so good it I love Dave Pilkey and I love all of the stuff that he's done but I feel like this is just like my favorite like I don't know what it is I laughed and I laughed and I laughed. Quick story, I was reading this at my daughter's gymnastics practice earlier this week. My two daughters had practice. They are uh, seventh grader and fifth grader and they have this gymnast, huge gymnastics gym and uh, up on like the second floor of this building, we can watch with like these tall windows and like parents sitting six feet apart or more with their mask on. And, and I am reading this like by the window and like watching gymnastics and reading and my, I, I look down to watch and like, I notice like my daughter like laughing at me and her smile, I, I, whatever. I'm like, keep reading, she's happy, she's having a good time. But then like when I look down again, like another kid is like looking at me and like staring at me and laughing at me. And I'm like cracking up the whole time reading this book, but like starting like, like what's going on? Like why, like what is the joke that I'm missing? Turns out they were making fun of me for reading a comic. Like I get it, I'm a 39 year old dude uh, reading a comic, like dad. Maggie's dad was sitting right next to you and he was reading like a really big and important book and you were reading Cat Kid Comic Club. I'm like, darn right I was and it was so good. Uh, so it, just the stigma of graphic novels is like playing out in like this weird way in my life. But I want you to know, like this book like breaks it all apart. Like I can't even like begin like, so we'll just take in the book. So these kid, these frogs are learning how to write comics and your kids are gonna know so many of the characters because they've read Dogman. Uh, and like the kids are like, I'm gonna have any ideas, all our ideas are terrible. And they are encouraged to write terrible comics. Just like, get something out, try something terrible. And they create these comics and end up being like these things that they really love. And they're just encouraged to try to improve and to try to tell, those sto tell their stories. And they're like, but we don't like to do comics. We wanna quit the comic club. And, like, well, what do you like to do? Like, we like to take pictures and write poetry. Like, well, tell your comic that way. And then th those frogs do. And then these frogs take like action figures and like break them apart, and, like make other things. And like, those are the characters in the comics. And like, there's collage comics. There's just all kinds of stuff going on. And what it's gonna do is gonna show kids that they matter, that how they wanna tell stories matters, that there's no one way to tell a story. And that it's okay to be kids and to have fun. And I also love when the scene where it takes all of the things that we tell kids that they're doing wrong and why that's not real real art and why you shouldn't be writing that way. And Dave Pilkey shows how like, but we celebrate that in adult writers. Oh, so good, so funny. It's magical, it's perfect. It's more Dave Pilkey and if there's one thing that I know that this world needs more of right now. It's more Dave Pilkey. Cat Kid Comic Club. Buy all the copies. 
because you're going to need them. This book's going to fly off the shelf. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Tol my name is Colby Sharp. I hope you have an awesome, fantastic day.